Well, howdy tubers. Well, back at it again. Been talking to my buddy Matt. He's on his way back from Wichita. So we're talking about building and flying and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but I did go out to the airport today and, of course, stopped and see my little buddy, see my little buddy Spiker there. And, uh, but actually, uh, what this video is about, um, I think, I, I guess I'll just say that I, that I told you wrong, but we'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, and this video's, I'm going to label it more or less for scratch builders. So let's show you, let me show you what we got here. Uh, by the way, the reason I went out to the airport, oh, I guess I already did a video about that was so I could bring in those wingy thingies, but... I thought, well, I just come and pick this wing up and put it over there. I can't reach across so that I can grab it and move it and put it over there. So I know I used to be able to somehow or another when I built the first one and the H5. So I don't know how I'm going to get this moved over there. I can do it when it's on the airplane. I can pick it up, but that's when the wing is on the ground. So, but anyways, enough of that. Okay, this here is the rib I need to make. Of course, you're supposed to make uh, three of them with flanges down, three of them with flanges up, and two of these are for the for the wing center section. Or uh, yeah, for each side wing center section, and then the other two is your is your rib for for right there. And, yeah, and for the other wing, too. But, now, I was telling you the last time that I thought I, that uh, that I'd let Matt have these, not have, but let him, right, let him use them. But apparently, then, I must have already, because uh, somebody else had them at another time when I needed this rib. And so I went and checked, and, oh, well, I've got it. I, so I've had, to, I've had the pattern or the mold for it. And then here's my pattern that, of course, I had just laid on here and cut it out of mylar. So, and of course, this is my, this is, uh, says 20 thousandths, but uh, the uh, Ultra Cruiser is 16. So, the, these pieces here were the pieces that are the, this aluminum was the piece that was in between the, I believe it was in this, in between the skins in the kit for the i'll say the bottom skin of the center section and there was a, a strip in between there that you just cut apart which was kind of neat but it left me with a little bit i mean not that i didn't have some but i grabbed this so i trace these onto here and onto there and so now i will go and cut these out but what i I'll do another video showing. Now, I, t I take my roper punch. After I get these trimmed out, I take the roper punch and put it in here and here and here and probably even here to uh, put me nice little round round holes there because it's a lot better than drilling. And But anyway, that's what I will go do. And our, I'll... This will be one of those extended videos, so let's go do that. Okay, well, I already trimmed up one a little bit. There we go. And I'm using using the Harbor Freight 12-inch uh, shear, brake, and slip roller. And this is what I used to make on the first ultra, well, and the H5 to cut out all the rib parts for the build-up ribs. Well, there we go. There we go. Yeah, like I said, this is a Harbor Freight 12-inch shear brake press 
SKU number is a S35969. And um, I guess for other people, or other for scratch builders too, and, and even the kit builder, that I had somebody asking about about the miracle wheel is what I call it. So do that real quick for start. Move as a baby's butt, us, I've heard. I won't worry about, well, I guess I can get that one. Okay, now I'll get set up for the roper punch. Okay, now we're going to kind of put a punch mark at these corners. Of course, not right in the corner. Well, I'll show you when I get them. There we go. Now, got my 332nd ones to do these. And since it's got a little tit in there, it'll go in your little punched or well, hole punch thing. Got those. I don't know if I'm in the camera there or not. Now we are. Okay, there's my 332nd one. Now my quarter inch one, that zoomed in and scared you, didn't it? Now we'll have nice clean round holes to cut into. There we go. Instead of cutting a square corner in there. Where the, I mean this, truthfully this don't have to be all that accurate if I can say it. I probably shouldn't say it. But where the, where the Accuracy really comes in is in 
in the mold form mold whatever you want to call it there another one like I say this is for the scratch builders and then we uh, Cut to there. And just cut so that you don't, so that you're not nicking across the other side. And I'll also go a little bit, I guess you'd say shallower than what the hole is because you can sand it down to that. This one will be the touchy one because they're a little bitty holes. Uh oh. You're getting all shook up. Okay, so instead of doing that on this one and you're watching, we'll just use the miracle wheel. Move at a baby's butt, so I've heard. You can also use this Harbor Freight sander, and I can go ahead and use that a little bit here. Without the, it's supposed to have this back thing on there, but it's kind of in the way.
Now, obviously, just like a grinder or something, you don't want to, since this is turning this way, you don't want to stick this in there like that. I'll show you what'll happen. No, I'm not. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I'm not, because it'll, because it'll dig. This thing is, is really kind of rubbery, and it'll dig in and put a gouge in there, and I thought, no, I don't want that, so. Okay. Now on to the next. Okay, here's my my forms. That, and I mark them so I know which way they go. Because if they go like that, they won't be right. Did you see that? No. Okay. They go inside the inside like that and so if you was to put them like that they wouldn't be right so and what i did to these since you since you need one of the since you need one of these bent to the right you need one bent to the left normally if they all just go the one way well you only need to route this i put it on a router and just rounded that over just ever so slightly but i did both sides so when you want to do when you want to do one to that way, well, then you do it. And when you want to do one to this way, well, then you do it. So now, I put this on here. See, in this, this notch that's in here, that's to clear the rear spar on the, on, the, uh, on the inboard section of the wing. And I guess instead of just making new, new ribs like I was thinking that there was, then uh, uh, they just went ahead and used these. Of course, you just don't have a rivet in the top hole. But anyways, I get these all lined up on there where they belong from that line and this line and that line and this back here and then i drill through here with quarter inch bit because i've got quarter inch dowels in here that'll hold this where it needs to be i mean you can if you want if you want to try it just uh but i don't know how in the world you're going to keep these things lined up uh without the dowel pins so that's how I do it. I'll get them drilled. Okay, I use these, uh, well, they're Harbor Freight, but they're center drills that you use on the lathe. And since it's got this smooth shank on there, it's not gonna mess up your, um, the hole in this MDF. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's what this is made out of, is MDF. So. Maybe. There we go. And then. I already drilled the other one. So you're not getting bored of drilling holes. Then go ahead and run that in there. Which I guess, I guess thinking about it, why do I need to change that out? I mean, it's like a drill bit on the other end, so. Technical difficulties here. There we go. All right, I can get that other one. Okay, now we just deburred a hole. Guess it helps you can see. All righty, this is ready to bend.
So now we'll go to the garage. Okay, just like a, another person that I watch on YouTube called Mr. Heavy Chevy, I think I'm in competition. He says he's got the, the dirtiest workbench on YouTube. I, I, I think I've got him beat because at least he cleans his off every now, now and then. So, but get that baby locked down in there and see if we can see. Well, yeah, you can see. And then now on on this on this one, I'm not having to worry which which way I bend it. But on the next one, I need to worry. Because he want to, because he want to right and the left, and of course this will be be cleaned up with uh, with some. Uh, well, I'll show you with some with some pliers. Okay, I went. Uh oh, I'm hitting over there. As you see, when I'm hitting on there, I'm, I'm trying to push it that way. Let's see. How about another view? Okay, making sure that I'm bending the right way. If I bend that way, it's wrong. And yes. So there's one. There we go. Well, uh, hang on there. I'll get the pliers. Well, I wasn't recording. Well, here's the here's the pliers. I already I thought I turned it on, but here's the pliers that I tweaked tweaked this with. And there you go. Oh, by the way, Harbor Freight not promoting them, but nobody likes them, and their prices are getting higher and higher and higher. And I see I'm at 24 minutes almost. So, uh, but anyways, that's Harbor Freight. And of course, uh, the hammer there was Harbor Freight. Like I say, not promoting them, but I mean, some of the stuff's okay. So, before it gets too much longer, and this could take forever to get it on there. There you go, and God bless.